Ah, crap. I ingested some toxins and now I'm a fat cow. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today we're going to be talking about toxins and why toxins are not the reason you are fat and why it is counterproductive to blame things like toxins because it removes accountability from the person. I'm going to put up a chart and this chart, it is going to have first world countries with their obesity rates and their pollution index scores. And if we were to take a look at the first world countries, the country with the highest rate of obesity is the USA with 41.9% and the lowest obesity rate is going to be Japan with 4.3%. Then, if we were to look at their respective pollution index scores, Japan has higher pollution than the USA. Japan, they have a 39.2 score, whereas USA has a 36.1 score. So in the USA, they have a 9.7 times higher rate of obesity, but they have less pollution. So you can't blame toxins if you are fat. Now, let's go ahead because this might just be an outlier. So let's compare other countries as well. Well, first we are going to compare Japan and Denmark. 4.3% of Japanese people are obese and they have a pollution index score of 39.2 whereas Denmark has 19.7% of an obesity rate which is over four and a half times greater than that of Japan and D Denmark's pollution index score is 21.3 which is almost half. So Denmark, they have a higher rate of obesity but they have less pollution. Next, let's compare Denmark and Malaysia. Well, 19.7% of the Danes are obese with a pollution index score of 21.3%. And when it comes to Malaysia, 15.6% of their population is obese, which is less than 20% the relative amount of obesity as Denmark. And they have a pollution index score of 61.7, which is almost triple. So with regard to Malaysia, Malaysia has less obesity, but they have more pollution than Denmark. Then if we were to compare Malaysia to Canada, which is where I'm from, well, 15.6% of Malaysians are obese with a pollution index score of 61.7. In Canada, we have a 29.4% obesity rate, which is almost double, and our pollution index score is 29.1, which is less than half. So in Canada, we have a higher rate of obesity and greater amount of a lower amount of pollution than in Malaysia. Then if we were to compare Canada to Russia, in Canada, 29.4% of Canadians are obese with a pollution index score of 29.1. In Russia, that is 23.1% obesity, which is less than 20% the relative obesity. And they have a pollution index score of 60.9, which is more than double of Canada. So once again, in Russia, they have lower obesity, but greater rates of pollution. Next, let's compare Russia to New Zealand. 23.1% of Russians are obese with a pollution index score of 60.9. And in New Zealand, that is 30.8% the population that is going to be obese which is more than 30% the relative obesity of Russia and in New Zealand they have a 24.2 pollution index score which is less than half of that of Russia so once again New Zealand they have higher obesity than Russia but they have less pollution let's compare New Zealand to Bahrain 30.8% of Kiwis are obese with a pollution index score of 24.2 and if we were to look at Bahrain 29.8% of the population is obese, which is not a big difference, it's only 1%. However, in Bahrain, their pollution index score is 71.4, which is almost triple. So, in Bahrain, they have lower obesity than New Zealand, however, their pollution is significantly greater. And then finally, let's compare Bahrain to the USA so we can come full circle. Bahrain, 29.8% of the population is going to be obese and they have a pollution index score of 71.4. If we contrast that with the USA, 41.9% 41 obesity, which is more than 35% of the relative obesity. And USA has a pollution index score of 36.1%, which is almost half of that of Bahrain. So in the USA, they have higher obesity, but they have less pollution. And these are just a few examples. If we were to take a look at the actual averages of the pollution index scores based off of obesity rates, First world countries that have less than 10% of their population as being obese are going to have a pollution index score averaging 36.2. Countries between 10 to 20% of their population having obesity is going to be at 48.1. Countries between 20 to 30% of, of their population being obese are going to have a pollution index score of 43.2. Countries where 30 to 40% of their population is going to be obese are going to have a pollution index score of 53.8. And over 40% is going to be 36.1. So as you can see, with all of these various countries, it doesn't matter what the obesity rate and what the pollution index score is. You could have countries with very high rates of obesity and low pollution. You could have countries with very low rates of obesity and very high pollution.
solution. At the end of the day, if you are a fat cow, it is not because you are ingesting too many toxins, it is because you are ingesting too much food, so quit blaming toxins for your choices. Thanks for hanging around until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help out with the algorithm. And also share this video so we can help get this information out to as many people as possible. And also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right hand corner and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. For those of you interested in health optimization, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I discuss the six foundation principles. And for those of you interested in optimizing your performance, then consider becoming a member. It's only $5 per month and you get a ton of perks including exclusive access to this program design lecture series playlist above my head. 